First up this morning, the Paralympic Games have come to a close after 11 incredible days of action. Martin has been following it all for us in Paris. Bonjour, Martin. Fill us in what happened on the last day. Oh, good morning, everyone. Yes, the Paralympics came to a close last night after a cracking closing ceremony. The organisers said that they wanted to show a party, and that's exactly what they did. Let's take a look at some of the pictures from the iconic Stade de France in Paris. There was a huge laser show, a marching band, break dancers, and plenty of music to dance along to. And despite the rain, it looks like the athletes and the crowd had a fantastic time. And I know a lot of you want to know how G Paralympics GB did when it came to that huge medal table. Well, they finished second overall with a whopping 124 medals. That's way better than what they did at the previous games in Tokyo in Japan and I was lucky enough to catch up with some of those medal winners yesterday when they came into Paralympics GB house. That's like looking up through the middle of the Eiffel Tower, that's quite cool isn't it? That is nice. I think it's a nice, and it's, it's heavy. I, I believe you. It's, I believe you. Do you want to hold one? Yes. I knew it, I knew yes. you were going for it. I don't want to dro don't please drop don't drop it, it Martin. <laughs> right, Para Athletics women's 100 metre T34 gold medal. That is beautiful Hannah, that is nice. The Paralympics don't just stop now that the games are over. You know, we still carry on as athletes. We compete every single year. We have world championships, we have European championships. We hopefully have a Commonwealth Games. And we need people to come and cheer on those events as well. And everything in between. So if people watched the last 10 days and, and found an athlete that they liked or a sport that they enjoyed, just have a look online. I compete every week in the summer, somewhere different in the UK. So see if there's an event near to you, follow your favourite athletes online, give them the support for the next four years and then that will make us even stronger coming out in LA knowing that we have all these new fans and new friends that we can take into the games with us. So yeah, don't forget about us, just keep supporting it and, and yeah, hopefully our sport will grow. Thank you fans, thank you Paris for me, it's been one of the best. Uh, to be playing in front of 15,000 fans every single game has been spectacular. How we can inspire the next generation to come along and take my, take my spot, take Terry's spot and um, hopefully we can leave the sport in a better place and I think the grassroots, the growth that we're going to show within this and the, the athletes we can bring into it is it's an amazing thing. It's, it's, it's a proud thing to be part of. I was a young kid from Dormerstown. I never ever thought that I'd put a GB vest on. I never thought that I'd be sat here today with a silver medal around my neck, a Paralympic medal. You know, so yeah, it can happen. Like, just, just go out there, just find your local club. And whether that's wheelchair basketball, it could be swimming, it could be tennis, it yeah. could be any it's sport out there. Yeah. Just, just, you know, <laughs> get out there, like, you can do it. There's so many opportunities out there, so many. For me, this has truly been an amazing, successful, in memorable Paralympic Games. It's time to look ahead now to Los Angeles in America who will host the next Paralympics in four years time. Now the Paralympic Games isn't just about sport every four years. The aim is to improve the daily lives of people living with disabilities all over the world and to make sure that we're all playing our part when it comes to understanding and inclusivity. That's what we mean when we say the word legacy and the hope is that the Paris Games here has helped in making that happen. OK, everyone, that is it from the team here in Paris. Thanks a lot for joining us on the journey. It's been fantastic. But for now, it's back to you, De Graft. Au revoir. Oh, thank you so much, Martin. Au revoir and have a safe journey back to the UK. And you guys at home can check out more of the best moments from the Paralympics over on the Newsroom website.